these tools now. We've been introduced to these tools. Now let's go and redo the meeting, the Shazam weekly operations meeting using some of these tools. We're gonna be uh, using our, our technology platform that we use that our, us and our customers use to manage their meetings called TeamPage. And I've also, I've preloaded some of the tasks and decisions that we get that we have there so we don't take too much time watching me type out, you know, so I've got those uh, pre, pre logs So you'd normally have to type those out manually. All right, good. So let's, let's go over to, over to Pierre to start the good meeting, please. Good morning, Tim. Please unmute yourself. Um, Alistair. Hey. All right. Okay. Well, you good know, start. despite our issues, there, there's a lot of, of, of positive about this morning. For one, we are on track for our C19 policy implementation and none of our people is showing any symptoms. Okay, Greg, according to the roster, you are the scrub today. Yeah, Pierre, all good. As you can see, I'm logged into team page and ready. Here are the tasks that we've closed since our previous meeting. Thanks. <laughs> David, did you have any issues when installing markers for distancing between machine operators? Yes, uh, we struggled originally to get the marker tape to stick on the floor. Uh, but after some simple problem solving amongst the team, we ended up using some of that vinyl that we used at the Comrades Expo. And it worked really well. Well, you guys are owning on uh, those problem solving skills. I, I can see that. That's good. Okay, Greg, let's check overdue tasks from previous meetings, please. All right, good. We've got it up here. Tasks still open from previous meetings, Pierre. Have a look. All right. Uh, Michelle, you have a task due today for last week to schedule a meeting with a new supplier for hand sanitizer. Yes, Pierre, it's done. You can close that, please, Greg. The video call with them is scheduled for next week at, on Tuesday at 9 a.m. Okay, good work. Greg, what, is, uh, what was our accountability performance for last week? Okay, we'll check. Um, lucky for us, we can check this. All right, so we've got... We've got four out of five tasks that we've completed on time, Pierre, and that's an 80% task on time closure rate. Um, our target is 75%, so that's good. And we've improved by 60% from last week. Oh, good. We are getting better. Yes. Um, Al, I have checked your age analysis summary report. The new template is great. Do you have any concerns with data and creditors? Yeah, no, no concerns. Um, though our situation is not as pretty as I would like, but we have clarity and uh, we were able to communicate with all the parties. Management accounts are due by next meeting and I will have that ready for you. Oh, there's a credit application for Total Sports uh, in, in process that's just taking too much time. Can you check up with that? Okay, I'll follow through on that one. Greg, please task me on that one. Okay. Also, Sportsman Warehouse has um, some payments issues. We have made them aware, but please connect with your primary contact there and so that they are also in the loop around this. Okay, no problem. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll follow through with that. Uh, I'll discuss with the sales team um, in our sales meeting this week. I'm going to toss myself as well on that one. Thanks, Al. Pleasure. Uh, Greg, give, give us some good news from the sales team. Well, our sales funnel is looking healthy, uh, but the team is obviously concerned, Pierre, at this point with the lack of marketing being done for our business. Al, can we review the marketing budget? Well, the reality is that our marketing budget will be blown in the next three months. Um, but I will give you the details so that you can review it and uh, decide how we can spend that better. Uh, Greg, why don't you re revisit your marketing plan with your team? Uh, just find creative ways to reallocate the marketing spend and present this to us after our next meeting. If you really need a bigger budget, tell us the priorities and sell it to us. Okay, yeah, challenge accepted, Pierre. I'm going to task Alistair to share the marketing budget details with me. Okay. Jess, do you have any issues uh, to report from quality? Yes, we've had no external nonconformity captured this past week, but the number of internal nonconformity is going down. So this is a concern. We need more, and I want to organize a refresher meeting training with Michelle, actually. Fine by me. I also don't believe that we're getting useful feedback from our customers, and we need to revisit how we are doing this. What do you think, Greg? Yeah, so I guess Survey Monkey is not working so well, I agree. Let's uh, set up a brainstorming session to decide on the way forward. Um, can you set that up? This is an improvement opportunity and I'll probably log a new innovation from it. So yes, please task me. 
Uh, right, David, do you have any issues to report from the factory? Yes, uh, I'm starting to get a wee bit concerned about the promises that the sales team are making to the customers regarding their delivery dates. Uh, David, um... uh, just just hold on, Greg. Uh, David, what do you suggest we do? I say we should set up a weekly sales production meeting to regain some kind of control there. Okay. Um... I agree in principle, but please prepare a meeting profile to present to us next week. And Greg, uh, you check your weekly calendar to see what day and time is good for you. Yeah, sure, Pierre. David, you know what? I really like this um, because the sales team, as a sales team member, we really don't like to, to overpromise and underdeliver. Mish, at this point, I expect that you focus on uh, COVID-19 compliance. Uh, yes, Pierre. This business is going to be COVID-19 compliant very soon. Uh, what is soon? By the end of June. Okay, good. What are the obstacles you're facing? Well, we'll have the policy ready by next week, but then we need to train the people after that. Um, we should be done with the training by the 12th of June. Okay, so Greg, you're locking decision. Business will be coin compliant by the end of June, and yep. you will be tasking for training to be completed by the 12th of June. And uh, that's good work, Mish. Thanks. Okay, good. We are 15 minutes late, uh, and I can see that uh, Greg is struggling to, to keep up with the logging of the tasks. Uh, so we'll give you a, a bit of time, Greg, before you, uh, you recap, uh, you read the decision and the tasks back. Has anyone got anything to add under general? No, I'm fine, thank you. No. no. Not for me. Okay, let, me okay. let me recap. So decisions made in the meeting, we have... We've got uh, that Shazam will be, the Shazam will be C19, COVID-19 compliant by the end of June. Thanks, uh, thanks, Mish. And that myself and David will have a weekly uh, sales production meeting. Okay, good. And then tasks from the meeting. Let's recap. Okay, just, just for the audience, um, this is an unconventional way of doing this because there's been a bit of a, bit of a gremlin here in our pre preloaded tasks. So I'll run through them anyway. So for, for the follow-up for Alistair, for total sports and the credit application processing has been delayed. Let's say connecting with the primary contact at Sportsman's Warehouse for myself to advise on payments issues, uh, to share marketing, for Alistair to share marketing budget, uh, status details with myself, um, work with the sales team to prepare, prepare a revised marketing spend for, and presentation to the ops team for the following week, that's to myself, arrange a meeting with Michelle to plan for non-conformity training, that's for Jess to do, arrange a brainstorming session with Greg, with myself, <laughs> to find a new way to get customer feedback on quality and service levels, that's for Jess. Prepare a meeting profile for the proposed and sales. A meeting production, that's for David. Check the calendar for preferred uh, day and time for the proposed sales and production meeting, that's for me to do, and to set up and run the COVID-19 awareness training sessions for all staff members by the 12th of June. The rest are all due by the next meeting. Thank you, guys. That was good. Okay, meeting adjourned. Have a good week. All right. All right, good. Okay, so I think apart from a little bit of a, just a, a bit of a challenge on team page for preloaded tasks, I think that was pretty good. So I hope you all agree. And I'd just like to take a moment just to thank everyone, uh, all the panelists, everybody that's participated with us. Alistair, David, Jess, Michelle, Francois, from Pierre and myself, we really appreciate that. And we've got fantastic people like you to contribute to all the good things we're trying to do out there. So thank you very much. Do we have any comments or any questions, Francois? Um, yes, uh, Greg Lloyd commented that earlier on during the assessment of the first meeting, there was a piece of floating code, uh, code that was a bit distracting. Uh, we just note that. And then also okay. uh, Harold, well, Harold was commenting on Pierre's uh, meeting skills, which he was uh, very impressed about. And uh, yes, that was, oh, the one thing that I didn't see, maybe I missed it, is the distribution of the minutes afterwards. Um, I think that's also important so that people will get to work on their tasks as soon as possible and not wait for the meeting minutes for the next week. Okay, that's noted. So naturally, on using, using the team page platform, that's already done automatically before you've even left the meeting room. That's the joy of uh, that platform. So... Thank you very much, Francois, for that. So that brings us to the end of the webinar. And uh, we thank you for attending. And hopefully you've learned a few things. And hopefully we're going to hear from you. We're grateful. And have a good evening. Take care.